I wanted something that sits a little bit higher and probably a little bit better quality, and I reckon this is it. We're gonna unbox it today. I'm gonna set it all up for you, go over it, and we're even gonna season it for you, just to give you a good run through and know what to expect and what to do when you get your brand new 230 swag. Now, just to be clear, I did actually pay for this myself, and uh, be careful, of course, when you're opening a brand new swag, because you don't want to be cutting any of the material, so. They've uh, got a bit of uh, cardboard protection on top. <sighs> Look at that. It even comes with a bag. Now, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, but I do already have a bag, and I reckon my bag might be a tad bigger, so we'll do a bit of a comparison, but it's nice to see it's a canvas bag made out of the same material as the um, swag, and from my experience, they've been really good and really handy to have. So, we've got the mattress nicely compressed. Look at that with a mesh bag. Now, so we've undone that, and I don't want to keep this video going too long, so I'll speed it up when needed. Oh, nice tight fit. Now, of course, this mattress will stretch out if we can get it out. Um, and that's actually a nice, sturdy mesh bag. I'm sure we can find some good uses for that. But for now, all uh, laid out. And this bit will get opened up in the swag and we'll make sure we'll give it a little bit of time to uh, open up. Now hopefully, by now, now, hopefully by now you know my little trick with the bags. Always tie a knot in it. A lot less chance it's gonna blow away and uh, end up in our ocean. Now, swag. Stretch out the swag. Uh, this actually uh, could be a tad longer than my normal uh, swag as well, uh, which is good because then it uh, fits over the sides. Haven't quite worked out where the head is. There you go, I've opened it up. Let's set up some poles now. now that's the shorter one, which is the foot. It's actually labeled already. There you go. So we just have to work out where the foot is. Is it labeled? Not yet. So I reckon that side looks bigger, so I'm gonna guess for now that this is the foot. Now, see a lot of young guys always rushing with this step and forcing the poles. Don't put a lot of pressure on them. Um, although these look like pretty sturdy poles, uh, they actually look like uh, stainless steel poles, or so they look pretty solid. So um, I don't think they're gonna break in a hurry, but it doesn't mean you need to test it either. So for me, I've had my poles for about five years. I've never had a problem uh, breaking them. And I know a lot of people have. And I generally say it's because they're either bought something cheap or they've just been a bit too rough with it. So that's actually uh, worked quite well. So I reckon we got that one right. Now we'll be speeding this up a little bit if and uh, can hear me because uh, this is the most exciting part of the video and I don't want the video going for too long. Three clips on each side, and two poles. So there you go guys, as you can see it's fairly easy and quick to set up. Now one of the main reasons I chose this uh, swag is mainly because of the height. Look at that, it's actually fantastic, sits in there quite comfortably. The mattress is actually quite a thick mattress, it's a little bit thicker than I uh, expected and it's quite comfy. Quite, I don't know if it's just because it's new, but it's uh, definitely quite cushiony and uh, not like the rooftop tent swags that you get. This is quite comfortable. Now, I'm using this 90% of the time on a stretcher. I may or may not end up putting a uh, mattress topper in there. It can quite easily be folded up with a nice 20 mil mattress topper available from Kmart. You don't have to get uh, expensive ones, uh, Target, that sort of stuff. And uh, it works really well, so especially if you're on the floor. But being on the stretcher, this actually feels really comfortable and uh, plenty of headroom, which uh, is a big one for me. And lying inside, it actually feels really comfortable. Definitely a little bit longer than my traditional swag. And I like that because it sits over the uh, edges and sides really well and lets all the water run off and not pull underneath. Now, of course, it does have the, uh, I don't know, you call that PVC base or whatever, that rubber base that's uh, going to keep you out of the water. And uh, if you've got it pegged out, it's going to be a little bit more secure, but you don't need to peg it out, of course. It does have a window at one end, and uh, I like to have a window open at both ends just to get that ventilation through. It's a nice sunny weather, 
Um, you can open the sides as well, give yourself plenty of ventilation. But beauty about this is it's not sitting in your face um, as the, uh, a lot of the tradi traditional swags. I definitely would go for a side opening swag if you're going on a stretcher. It makes things a lot easier. You've got a couple of pockets at the bottom. Not sure why they're at the bottom. I mean, I can reach over there and get into them if I want, which was a bit of a pain in my last uh, stretcher. But personally, I would have liked a couple of doors at this end. Um, now, this one actually has, I don't know, you call it a little door, a flap on the um, head end. I'm guessing that's designed for either shooting, bird watching, anything like that. You can set this up and be quite camouflaged and use this little opening in the end. You can even close the mesh. Now, the mesh is a pretty fine mesh, good zips. The zips actually look quite sturdy and quite large and they flow quite nicely. Now, of course, you always want to put a little bit of wax or something on it again. All the uh, seams inside are taped up really well and uh, I'm not imagining this is going to cause any problems in the rain, but uh, we're about to season it and we'll find out. Give it a good stretch. Now, when you do season it, you always wash the outside first, make sure the uh, unit's waterproof, and then, of course, get a little uh, water gun or something and spray the seams inside as well. Now, a lot of these new swags, you don't always have to worry about uh, seasoning it, but as a golden rule, I always make sure I season and uh, test every swag before I go out, and you should always set it up before you go out. Either side, you've got the double zips. I probably would have preferred one guy rope at each end, but uh, you know what, not a big deal. And that opens it up and just gets in a lot more uh, ventilation. Um, the flaps are really good. They've got flaps over each uh, doorway. So obviously if you're kind of using it like that, you've got the flaps covering it at the top and you've got some ties at the top um, in case you do want to leave it open. Like I said, if it's good weather and the, the stars are out, these are one of the best way to sleep. The next step now is we're actually gonna hose it down and make sure that it's waterproof. Now, like I said, you do wanna spray the inside as well, but firstly, let's spray the outside, make sure it's waterproof. We'll check that and then move on to the next step. So the best way to season a swag, in my opinion, is to drop it in the bath, give it a really good soaking. I will do that after, but first, I wanna hose it down and make sure it's uh, actually waterproof. Let's go. Beep. As you can see, that's a pretty, uh, decent watering. Don't know if you really be uh, camping in this sort of weather, but it's uh, got some um, really well positioned flaps, gives it a good coating. Now you really, when you're, uh, se now, when you're seasoning it, you really want to get into uh, the canvas and really soak the canvas well. So probably not so much a high pressure, maybe try the shower, that's mist. So there we go, that's a pretty good uh, shower. Let's check it out inside. So there you go, we've opened it up and it's quite waterproof. A little bit of water inside, and that's just from when they, uh, the water that's pulling up and dripping inside it, but it's actually been pretty good and never got wet. So I'm happy with that. There you go guys, we've given it a good test run. We're gonna finish wetting it down now. We're gonna dry it, wet it again, dry it, do that a couple more times to make sure it's nice and seasoned and ready for our next camping trip. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for sticking around. So there